Lacey by Bertie Jessen. There is a girl in my class named Lacey. I've known her since kindergarten. She's very quiet, very nice, and I like her. But there's one thing that I don't understand. Sometimes she wears long sleeve shirts and long pants even in the summer. I thought that it was silly she wore so many clothes because it gets so hot and she ends up sweating a lot. Some of the other kids make fun of her for it. We were in gym one day and I saw marks on Lacey's arm. They were bluish green and looked like fingers. Our gym teacher, Ms. Lopez, saw them too and asked, what happened to your arm, Lacey? I was playing with my brother and I fell. It was an accident, she said. Ms. Lopez says, well, those are really bad bruises. Did you see a doctor for it? My mom took care of it, Ms. Lopez. Okay, you have to be careful, Lacey. I worry about you. Yes, Ms. Lopez. As our teacher walked away, Lacey looked so sad. One day, she came to school wearing a cast on her arm. I was shocked. I asked, Lacey, what happened to your arm? She put her head down. Um, I fell, she said. Then I remembered all of the times I used to see marks and scars on Lacey's arms and legs. She always told everyone that she fell or she was playing rough. I started to think that she falls a lot, but is she telling the truth? Lacey, did you fall again and break your arm? We're friends, Lacey, you can tell me, I told her. Lacey started to cry. She whispered, you have to promise me that you won't tell. I'll get in trouble. She told me that her mother got really mad at her. She hit and grabbed Lacey so hard, she broke Lacey's arm. I asked, does she hurt you a lot, Lacey? Yes, but if I tell, it'll get worse. I was really scared for Lacey. So when our teacher saw your arm, was it really your brother that hurt you? No, she said. Even though I promised Lacey I wouldn't tell, I didn't want her to keep getting hurt. I didn't want her mad at me, but I knew that I had to do the right thing. When I saw Ms. Lopez the next day, I asked her if she and I could talk. Is there a problem, she asked. If I know someone that's getting hurt and they tell me not to tell, what should I do? Well, if you know someone is being hurt, then you have to tell because it will get worse. I began to cry. Lacey's getting hurt at home and it is getting worse. She said, you are very brave. Telling me makes you a good friend. But what will happen to Lacey? I'm going to call someone to help Lacey, she said. I got worried. Do you think that she'll be mad at me for telling? I think that one day, Lacey will understand that you cared about her so much that you told someone so that she could get help, said Ms. Lopez. Lacey didn't come back to school after that day. I was so scared because I did not know what happened to her. And I knew that she was gone because I told. One day, I got a phone call, and it was Lacey. I thought that I would never hear from her again. I was so happy to hear from her. I thought that she would be mad at me for telling her secret, but she wasn't. Lacey was very happy to hear from me. She lives with her grandmother, and she likes her new school. I miss Lacey very much, but I'm proud that I told someone that could help her that she was getting hurt. Now I know that I was being a good friend and keeping that bad secret would have hurt Lacey even more. Now I don't have to worry about her being hurt anymore and that makes me feel good.